Okay, just a quick look inside the um, receiver, the SIE 4732 or 4735. I call it a 4732 because simply that's how it was advertised when I bought it. Anyway, um, there's the there's the Arduino chip or the Arduino board. Um, it's probably a Chinese clone. I doubt that's a genuine Arduino from what little I know about them. You'll see that it's uh, got the mini USB that, that ports the outside panel there. Reasonable size speaker and that's um, plugged into a socket on the board. Got a ribbon cable running from the main board to the front panel. Uh, we've also got one wire. Let's see if we can see it there. I'll just try to steady that. Um, yeah, okay, and one of the pins, that's one of the pins behind the uh, OLED display. There's one wire soldered on there. Look how tightly this ribbon cable is uh, twisted together. Not quite sure why they've, they've done that. So, there it is. So, um, that's the Arduino. Let's have a look see if we can see the underside of the board. Okay, I've checked these uh, pins at the bottom of the Arduino. The solderer, no, I'm no great solderer. But uh, for something that's been sold commercially, I'd say the soldering uh, is, is pretty poor. But I can't see any bridge pins. I've put the um, multimeter on continuity against these as well. Can't see any bridge pins. Incidentally, when you take this apart, the problem in sliding this out altogether is you've got these two wires running from the power switch and they seem very taut. I think um, these are running into the battery and um, you'd have to probably remove the battery from the base of the case um, before you could go any further with um, disassembling this uh, little unit. That's just a quick view of the uh, the underside of the board, and here we are back on the uh, the top side of the board now. Um, you can unplug that speaker. I did. Uh, it's very very tightly in, so I didn't uh, pursue trying to extract that little plug. Um, goes to the speaker, but in theory you can unplug that. Um, let's see if we can see the battery. I'll just move the. Um, the head unit out of the way, the front unit. There's the battery sitting there at the uh, the base of the case. And there's our front control panel. So like I say, couldn't see any bridged pins on this one, which I was hoping was causing the problem that I had with the um, SSB. But I've got to work around on that anyway. Um, overall, the board looks pretty neat. Um, just the soldering I think uh, leaves a little bit to be desired we've got this ribbon cable again this looks pretty fragile um, we've got this one wire at the back of the um, the OLED display again um, I'd have preferred to have seen a little, perhaps a little connector on that and the soldering well I don't know how well the camera will focus but you can judge for yourselves there um, interesting board is marked up as a nano um, but I believe there's a lot of Chinese clones of um, Arduino boards there case itself is it's quite reasonable for the cost of the receiver so there you go that was a quick look inside